Hi guys, this is your man. Mm, fuck, which man? My God, little piece. I'm just kidding. Stop. No, like what is this? I'm on you. Wait a minute. Lindblad. Lindblad. Fuck. No, do this. Fuck. Click, 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 and it's gonna go. It's considered. Okay, no, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. You smart. On the like button. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to today's video and today we're starting a series where we present to you heroes of Lund and the Lund University. We are going to bring to you people who have contributed immensely to the development of the Lund University and the city of Lund as well. Follow me on this voyage and let's learn and have fun. Today, I'm at the Lund's Botanical Garden. And behind me is a monument of the man who designed the blueprints of this botanical garden. His name, Jacob George Agard, the son of Carl Adolf Agard. He was a botanist and a taxonomist. Behind me is the family grave of the Agards, where the mortal remains of Carl Adolf Agard and his son Jacob George Agard is. And as you can see, the very beautiful monument is that of Carl Adolf Agard, who was also a Swedish botanist. And actually, just like the story of David and Solomon in the Bible, took the initiative to, to design the botanical gardens of Lund, but actually was completed by his son, Jacob Agard. There are so many things that bring people together, nations together. And one thing that has been able to do this across millennia is music. The King's Song was composed by the man whose monument is behind me. Otto Lindblad. Lindblad attended the Lund University from 1829 to 1836 where he studied music. The monument behind me represents style and modernity. This is that of a man who is considered Sweden's first modern man. His name Esaias Tiegner. Esaias was a professor of Greek language, a philosopher and a writer. And he studied here in Lund University. He wrote one of the most beautiful poems that has ever been recited by kids and adults in Sweden. In the year 1906, this monument behind me was erected in honor of Kilian Stobeus, a former student and professor of medicine and history here in Lund University. Kilian, during his time as professor here in Lund University, also opened up his private residence for promising students to study. He actually provided free tutorials to these students, including the young Carl von Linnea. These are just a few of the heroes of Lund University and in the subsequent episodes we are going to bring you details about them and how they have contributed to the Lund University making them heroes. If you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified anytime I drop a video.